hello people so today i'm back with another video and this time i've installed another room for samsung galaxy s8 it's a new room and it's a one ui room so the name of this room is alpha ux room and the other thing is that it is one ui 1.5 room so it is a second room for, uh, for one ui 1.5 and the android version is 9 so there are pretty cool features that you can see it is totally like a uh, rising one but it has some good changes in the in this room it is pretty smooth you can see you can see this if you just open an app close it and you can see this so if you just open any app it is going to open really fast i totally recommend you this uh, room if you want it for daily life users like calls facebook and if you don't want gaming you can use this room because it is pretty smooth there's there are no legs there are no stutters in this room but there are two things that are always on display and uh, brightness is pretty dim so you can see that uh, you may find it brighter in this video but in real life it's low so it is your brightness does not change so yeah that is a problem with this and the other thing is that in edge lightning you can see that the effect uh, is being overlapped by the corners so you can see that is a bug over here and most of the things are working there are no problems other than these two and most of the things are working all samsung apps are working uh, but not Samsung Pay and those other apps because they won't work um, because you have rooted your device, you have installed a custom room. So when you are going to install, you are going to see a lot of features like PowerShare. I don't know whether it works or not. You can see a 120 hertz display, but it does not work. So because our display is only 60 hertz, I do not recommend it for gaming because the entry to benchmark score of this room is pretty low you can see there and that's because the UI is performing great uh, and there are no problems with the UI it is smooth that's why the score of this uh, entry to benchmark is not good and similarly geek benchmark score is also not good you can see that <coughs> the score is 220 for single core and multi for 15 to so I recommend it if you don't want gaming on your device you can install this room but uh, if you want gaming you can use Horizon 1. I'm going to test that room as well for gaming but I recommend this room if you want simple live usage like call, SMS and Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, these types of things. So yeah that's it. So in order to uh, install this room first you have to go into wipe. And here you have to wipe uh, Delvicard Cache Cache System Data. And after that, you have to go into install. You have to select the directory where you have downloaded the room. You have to select it and you have to swipe to flash. So after flashing this room uh, for S8 users, you have to uh, flash this RZ Dream LTE kernel and you have to swipe to flash it is only for asset users for asset plus after flashing you just have to go in reboot and you have to reboot into system do not install this twerp app so one thing is that this ro this room's uh, boot animation is pretty cool you can see this that's pretty cool yeah. So that's it if you have any uh, problems or if you have any questions related to this room you can comment down thank you